All right, I want to start by saying this is easily one of the scariest things that I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm uploading this video for educational purposes so that you guys can learn from this. Um, as you guys know, I've been making videos about the ocean for a very, very long time. So recently I was watching the Dehui Backdoor Shootout on the North Shore of Oahu. It's one of the most prestigious surfing competitions on the planet, and it's also at one of the most dangerous surf breaks on the entire planet. Now, I've watched a lot of surf competitions over the span of my life, and most of the time, the majority of the time, the contests go off without a hitch, and there's no injuries, and there's no real issues. This competition that took place last week in, in Hawaii was one of the most brutal competitions I've ever seen in my entire life, and easily the most injuries I've ever seen in a professional surfing competition. Now note, these guys are all professionals. They've spent their entire life in the ocean. The only reason that they're even allowed to paddle out during this competition is because they are some of the best surfers in the world. There's also medical staff on standby and by far the best group of lifeguards on the entire planet. There is nowhere on planet Earth that has better, stronger, more capable lifeguards than the North Shore of Oahu, Hawaii. That being said, even the most experienced surfers on the planet are intimidated by this wave, mainly because of how shallow and how razor sharp the reef is. You'll actually see a lot of the best surfers in the world wearing helmets while they surf this wave. So I have some highlights from my stream. I was streaming the entire thing. Check this out. What? Oh my. Whoa! Hamilton. Oh, wow. Look at this one oh, behind this so this is, see, this is one this one and a half. Dude, three, yo. So when you're sitting out there. Are you, you okay? Oh, oh, oh. Go, go. Oh. Inside. Can't oh. it won't. <laughs> Give him Dude. a chance to. Look at the cameraman getting early. smoked. Gonna get it. Oh. oh my gosh, what a bad place for the camera. He went down Dude, deep. I, I wonder if he end up in the Oh, that's the not even cool. See that no, they didn't. They got smoked. Oh, no, right. wow. Dude, they got smoked. Ivan. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh. oh. Huge. Bomb. Bottom turning under the lift. Oh. Oh, loving it. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, what? We get a nice barrel stick. right when a gifted All sub comes in? Almost made it. The Jamie? See if he can roll into this one from outside. Makes the drop. Comes mm -hmm. around into this inside section. Oh! oh. Cave. Oh, my Look goodness. at that oh, wave! So oh, tiny. my God! Look, you're on. Here we have another angle of this uh, wave. 7, we'll 000, I think. Bottom turning, slowing down. Pound is tripping. One. This was that square one that he's trying to slow down, even though he didn't get super deep. Back door. Well, we ha <clears throat> we have right now in the water. Oh! oh. 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 There's that. one. There's one. That was, that was a crazy wave. Reflexes yeah. Yeah. on off. Yeah, well, there's something not telling them not to go. They just go and then they. He knows what's up. Oh. Big time snap five. Who is this? This is our Clay Marzo. Clay Marzo is a. Oh, oh no, Clay! <laughs> that was epic. Oh, get. Yeah. Um, something that I wasn't streaming while it happened was Billy Kemper. He actually took, he's quite an experienced surfer. He's been actually injured a couple of times and typically people that get hurt are some of the more careful, but uh, during a wipeout, he dislocated his shoulder. They had to, he had to be taken away in an ambulance. Later on in the day, uh, I believe it was uh, Makuakai Rothman, ended up tearing his MCL in his knee. And five minutes later, one of the worst case scenarios happened during the competition. I was streaming, uh, you can check it out and you can see by my reaction that, um, I mean, you can just see by the footage that it, how serious it was. I'll let the footage speak for itself. It's, it's cool because a lot of people yes. like cycle through, you know? And here a lot of new people oh, yeah, just pop in and hang out. Oh, and up a, oh look at this wave. Oh, later, bro. be the first in the oh, way back door oh, shootout oh, history i believe to achieve a 12 point ride twice juke squad documentary on yeah there's so been, much but that, that was uh, quite juke squad the movie training. right yeah, like five bucks there. all the best moments and all the coolest stuff behind the, the scenes us talking about you know like that a lot of it had to do how it happened why it happened stuff like that i feel like people would like because so many hawaiians were dying and not as it's, many it's Holly quite a crazy story maybe there was that need holy smoke look wow. at this oh so brave oh my gosh yeah no that that drop 23 was so first time heavy. chatter what up dude and the wave How's itself just heaved over the way he put himself in there he did have a chance but sheesh 
What There's crazy power insane. in this wave. That's a lot and somebody's down right there things. needing help too. The grabber just jumped off. What? Water patrol stayed super no, busy. No, dude, what is it. going on? And they've got three guys in there. Trying to get to, I believe it could be Kala. Maybe oh, that fuck. first wave. I gotta turn this oh, off. Try to turn it off. Oh, fuck. Because he's not conscious. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, fuck. Yo, guys, I'm gonna, I might have to end stream. Oh, man. So, we're gonna... My goodness. Hope and pray everything is okay, but that was, uh incredible so i turned my stream off because i was completely shaken up um it's in the back of everyone's minds anytime anybody's surfing a wave of consequence they call it a wave of consequence because this is because this is a wave that can very easily take your life um and it's on the back of everyone's mind but we just all hope that it never happens a local florida legend evan geiselman actually got knocked out at pipeline and had to be resuscitated on the beach this was the same type of situation. I started the stream back up once I heard that he was breathing again. The con the contest continued. There was some amazing waves ridden. The award ceremony was called off due to the amount of surfers that were out for injury. Uh, the main being Kala Grace. Um, he's somebody I've watched for a very, very long time. I've seen him surf in many competitions. Anytime his name is brought up when the waves are big, you know that he's going to be a factor. You know that he's going to charge. Um, his dad posted this update, um, just a little update on Kala Grace. Um, he's at the Queen's Hospital being worked on. Just wanna, what a big mahalo to all the CNC North Shore lifeguards and to Billy Kemper. This is such a hard ride home knowing that my son was purple when he got to the beach and his lungs was filled with a lot of water. There was no response at first and then he started coughing up water from inside his lungs and the color of his face started coming back. I was watching my son taking his last breath. After all that water came out, Billy Kemper was talking to him, telling him to hold on, Kala. It was very hard to be right there. We waited for the ambulance for maybe 10 minutes on the beach. After a couple minutes on the beach, Kala responded, got the water out of his lungs. He was asking for his mom and his girlfriend. It's so hard to write, and I'm crying as I'm doing this. Kala's helmet came off on a big wave, and the next wave slammed him underwater, cracking his head open above his left eye. Sorry for now. Just send prayers towards him and love Johanna because... Life can flash in front of you. Mahalo, K Akua. If that doesn't give you the fucking chills, I don't know what will. Um, I can't lie. I I was so shaken up. I started just crying because I saw when I saw the lifeguard jump off of the jet ski. It was just one of the heaviest things that like I've ever seen in my entire life. Like it just I don't know. In those moments. You're just reacting, and you, I don't know, I, I couldn't let that play on Twitch. I didn't know what was going on. You see a, see a surfer just is bored, just tombstoning. They call it tombstoning because, like, a board lays flat in the water. But when it has a leash hooked to it and a person is pulling it down, the board just sits on, on the water like this. They call it tombstoning because, you know, you're getting pulled down to the bottom of the ocean. In this case, he was unconscious. Uh, thankfully, he's being worked on. Um, he's alive. Be careful out there, everybody. You know, there's a lot of lessons to learn whether you surf or whether you don't. It's, uh, life is precious. Life is short. I don't know what else I can say besides that. Um, I've been uploading a lot of stream highlights, but I didn't, I was, uh, asked if I was going to upload this as a highlight, but I didn't feel like I could upload it without, you know, some, some context. I didn't just want to throw that footage up there. Didn't feel right. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Everybody send love and support to Kyle Grace and to his whole family, all of his friends, everybody on the North Shore. There's a lot of injured surfers during that competition. It was just really, really, really heavy thing to experience and a crazy thing to watch. But um, yeah, we're, everybody's, everybody's going to be okay. Everybody's alive. And that's all that matters. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Peace. Look at this. Oh, Setting up for Kalar. Great. Kalar. Oh, is it going to be another Who's that one? It'll be the first in the Hui Backdoor Shootout history, I believe, to achieve a 12-point ride twice. If he would have came out of that <laughs> one, would have been. But that yeah. was uh, quite the freight train. Yeah, not much of an exit there. Look, there he is. And one historian named Lily Kalar. She argues that a lot of it had to do with the, the dying and the disease. That mm. because they're so right there, were dying and not as many Holly people, it was right there. maybe there was that need. Holy smoke, wow. look at this one. That was hey, Mayo, come out. so brave.
that was close I, oh. I thought he was gonna come out of that yeah no that that drop was so heavy and the wave itself just heaved over the way he put himself in there he well, did have right a there. chance but what Ooh. crazy power in this wave and somebody's down right there station. needing help too the grabber just jumped off I'm just glad he's all right. That was the craziest thing ever.